Good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Mr. Steve, and I work at the Museum of Natural History. Visitors come from all around the world to check out our exhibits and learn about the things that they're interested in. But the way things are, we are coming to see you. Are you guys ready for our journey? Follow me, I'm gonna show you something that I think is really cool. The Palmer Observatory. It's being used as a place to study things in space. How do we use our natural resources responsibly? How long have these mountains been here? Do you think this would be a good place to build a nest? Why should we protect land? What do you think these people are hunting? Are humans the only ones that rely on natural resources? How can this basket be used as a water bottle? How do we harness the power of the wind? How did the Chumash people travel to trade with other people? If you were in charge of the logging company, what would you do to help this forest recover? Water bears couldn't possibly live in space, could they? An infrared camera captures heat and it translates it into colors. Because of the captive breeding program, the island fox population is recovering. Our eyes, human eyes, are only able to see from this red color all the way up to those blue colors. But let me show you everything that is out there. This is the entire spectrum. What animal does a tadpole turn into? The earth is connected to the living things on it. If we have an endangered species living in our area, what can we do to help them? You might have heard that our oceans are warming. This is happening really fast. The microwave ovens are dangerous if you stick your head in them. When you're playing Minecraft, where do you have to look to find coal? We're going to calculate the speed of sound. What's an animal that's really independent when it's born? How do we get oil out of the ground? We're animals too. Notice how when I change the frequency, the wavelength also changes. Our noses aren't nearly as good as hers. Now you have an idea of what an observatory is and what astronomers do inside an observatory. But now, let's go back to the classroom. What is this bird using to build its nest? How many fish would you like to collect? What's your favorite Chumash instrument we just saw? If the Big Bang happened, then we should see a remnant of energy throughout the entire universe. Have you ever seen anything like this? 